Next one we're going to go over is arrays. Arrays are very common in my job. I'm sure they'll be common in yours as well. So an array is a variable type or a data type in which it, it includes many other variables. It includes an unlimited number of different variables. So for example, an array can need an integer 1, a string variable, which is a string containing an integer 5, an array can even contain other arrays. An array is sort of like a container for the containers, if you will. Um, to specify an array, you do array1, the name of the array equals the ampersand, and then the parens like that. That will actually give a um, blank array. See, it's blank, but if you do by the get type here, It's actually an array. Now, arrays, since arrays are a little bit more advanced than strings, booleans, or integers, for the name here, you'll just see an object, and then the base type is where you'll see system.array right here. So let's see what our first one exists here. See, up here we defined array equals one string value and five. This is all the information in our array here. And if we echo it out, you'll see it contains one string variable and five. That's how you can create arrays. You can do other things. Um, you can create explicitly define the array with all the um, the indexes. That's what called in here to begin with. Or uh, you can create one with no elements inside of it, just like this. And let's say we want to do array one plus equals three. So what that's going to do is adds, pushes the number 3 integer onto array 1. And you'll see if when, once we echo it out, it's 3 now. We can keep on doing the same thing. Plus equals 9, plus equals t, 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 t. And if we echo it out again, all that's doing is just creating one element, the next element, the next element, and so on and so forth. That's how you add things to an array. Something else you can do with arrays is um, each array has the uh, individual elements, and these individual elements have index numbers. You this may be an intermediate topic. You don't you might not use it a whole lot when you're starting, but it's useful nonetheless. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say we have array, and you can see we have one, two, three. We have three elements inside of the array. So we're going to do, we're going to have three separate indexes. Each array starts with its zero base, so it starts with the zero index. And to find out what's in the indexes, you just do the variable name and then in brackets you do the index numbers, so 0, 1, and 2. And you can see here array 0 is the number 1, array 1 is the string variable and array 2 is the number 5. And you can see here that that is the case because up here I did one string variable and then the number 5. That will give you a um, good way to reference each of the elements inside of the array. Another common thing you can do with array is find out how many elements are inside of the array. To do that you use the dot count property here. Each array has a um, has a count property, and that just gives you a count of exactly what is how many elements are inside of the array. This usually this helps well for um, for loops and things like that, which we'll explain a little bit later.